Hi guys, this is Julie. Um, I'm here to just do a, uh, hopefully a quick video of um, my traveler's notebook. I thought it might be time to kind of share my setup with you guys. Um, this is a Zencraft uh, trifold. It is uh, in the black oil tan leather. A uh, very simple, slim by uh, trifold, um, made by Yucanan Israel. I think that's how you say his name. Um, basically, I just reached out to him. He, has, he runs a great Facebook group. He's a really, really cool guy. Just told him what I was looking for. He said something really simple, understated, in Midori style leather. I wanted it all black. Um, essentially, this is what he came up with. And actually, it's perfect. Um, and I say perfect because uh, I wanted something very, very basic. Uh, this is essentially what it is. This is the, um, you know, just a simple black leather. It feels almost like felt very very smooth to the touch holds up to wear really well this is about a uh, uh, I want to say a few months worth of wear he went with black stitching for me um, I can't even remember if I actually asked him to do black, stitch, black stitching but that's essentially what I wanted I didn't I don't really like dark leathers with light stitching so this worked out really well um, he has a couple rivets here on the front for those tech pockets but very very simple I have on the front a Tim Holtz charm. This is a, you know, those word bands, and this one says "Embrace Imperfection." Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Embrace Imperfection, um, you know, which I'm kind of using as my mantra now, you know, because uh, paper has a sense of finality to it, so you kind of have to accept that you make mistakes and move on from them um, and learn from them, really. So, um, I've learned to really embrace imperfections in both my regular life and also whatever I do in, in here in any of my, my journals. There are two tech pockets. There's one that just is holding some stickers right now. This one doesn't really hold anything, but it used to. I just put like, you know, some random paper, stickers, receipts, things like that. Now this isn't really an everyday carry for me. It is more of a place for reflection and creativity than anything else. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't put receipts, checks, bills, things like that in, in this thing. I just try to keep that out. But just in case I need to, there are pockets for that. This pocket has a card slot in it. Just wanted to mention that. Looks like he does that for a lot of his, um, a lot of his products. This is a Shelby Ingle. Uh, dashboard and hot air balloons. I think her shop is now called Neat Boutique, although I think it's changed again. I'm not sure. Um, but on the back of this dashboard, I think it's really cute. It's hot air balloons on the back. It's patterned. I have here Heidi Swap stickies. Just to kind of get me going in terms of decorating per se. I also have here um, various sentimental cards. Like, you know, this is from the MTA, DC, Metro, things like that. I have here some stickies from Daiso on just some laminate and some washi wrapped around gift cards. So that's what I've been doing. More washi, just in case I want to decorate it on the go. I have here just some Instax mini pictures. I have an Instax printer and I use those to decorate in my journal. And this is these are post-its I made. It has my little avatar on it. So I keep those with me. This is my main journal. In fact, this is my first journal. Uh, this is the original Midori 003 insert that I've wrapped in scrapbook paper. The scrapbook paper was essentially glued on. I used a brush numbers glue just to, to um, get as much coverage as possible so the ends will stick. But you can use spray, uh, spray glue from like a, like a craft bond kind of glue. You can get anywhere actually. You get at Staples, Michaels. Target anywhere. That allows you for the most coverage, so that's why I recommend that. I've had some people ask me questions about how to do that. So you don't need to buy inserts that have these fancy covers on it already. You could just use a Midori insert um, that comes with the original Midori, or you know, purchase on Amazon. They're only six dollars, and the paper is really good. Um, so I highly recommend doing that. Um, I don't decorate a lot by any means. 
fact, the beginning of this journal, this is during my road trip. It's all writing, as you can see, all writing. This is uh, when I landed in San Francisco for my road trip, you know, it kind of started putting stuff in it and started decorating ahead of time with washi, you know, and uh, started just using it as a means to reflect on life and my thoughts and get some clarity about things, remember um, events that have happened and how I felt when they happened. So, um, this paper is really good, this Midori 003 paper. Um, and I say that because, um, it, right when we're getting into it, this, these watercolors are directly onto the, the insert. And um, the paper takes the watercolors really well. The colors pop really well. And you'll see that there's not a lot of bleeding, not a lot of buckling. And um, you know, I mentioned that the the writing here is in fountain pen, so you'll see here on this reverse side, not a lot of ghosting, maybe a little ghosting, but not a lot of bleed, which is great. So very fountain pen friendly paper, but thin too, you know. So I, I like to tell people, you know, you can't really go wrong with original Midori inserts. They're about six bucks on Amazon, um, and the paper is really high quality, so why not, right? I do watercolor. Um, I'm starting out in watercolor. I'm not, an, obviously, not, not great in any way, but um, what I've started doing in watercoloring was uh, making my own watercolor pads by cutting down, you know, you know, full pads to Midori size. Um, that way I can take the watercoloring, you know, outside of my, my actual Zen craft um, to prevent, I guess, maybe seeping of colors and buckling of paper. I'm really just taking that out of, you know, the whole notebook. Um, getting what I like done and then just gluing it into the book. So I have a good example here. Where is it? Right here made this on a separate uh, watercolor sheet and you know if I like it I'll just go in and glue it so I just have that there for right now and that's what I've been doing lately so um, I actually do that with plain paper too this is white as you can see this is actually printer paper about uh, I want to say 24 pound printer paper great with fountain pens and I actually make a separate pad of paper um, so I could write on, I can glue it on whenever I want to after the fact. It makes it easier to write sometimes, but also, um, you know, if I haven't really formulated an idea, I can kind of not commit so much to this fine Midori paper. And see, so you, you can also get these list pads from, you know, wherever, Michael's, Dollar Store, Target, wherever, you know, write on the, the pad itself and just glue it in. And look, this one just fit. You know, this page perfectly, so it's great. I did some testing of stamps here. I also have this Midori uh, original pencil board. Um, I used to make my own pencil boards, you know, with Ray Blake's uh, My Life in All One Place grids and such um, as guides for lines, but um, I stopped doing that uh, because sometimes the original is just better. I keep this Winsor Newton Cotman watercolor kind of like a guide to colors here because I also carry a pocket set as my main watercolor palette. Pictures of me and my friends, me and my sister, me and my husband, and uh, that's the other side of that dashboard. So this is uh, a watercolor, a peerless watercolor insert made by Riley Wolf. I think this was her personal set. Um, but she sold it, I think, because she didn't need it anymore, but I absolutely love this. It was, it looks great. Like, uh, I think the way she did it with this heavyweight acetate, heavyweight cardstock paper, you know, acetate on every page and really, really nice handwriting for the descriptions of the colors. Um, I really love this set. I can't even, I can't bear to use it. I used maybe a little bit of the neutral tint, but can't bear to use it, so what I did was I bought my own set. And um, 
bottom of the set, I'm going to replace the, uh, the little one inch squares as I use them up. Finally, this is my watercolor insert. Very simple. I don't even staple it, to be honest. I just kind of slip it in there. Um, just in case on the go, I, I want a watercolor. That's, I have that ready for me. So that's essentially my Zencraft um, Traveler's Notebook. See here what it looks like in the hand. The thickness of it. Not very thick at all. This is one elastic, so I asked them for one elastic because I didn't. I don't like bulky bricks of traveler's notebooks, but this one ended up filling out, didn't it? So that's it. Just a little walkthrough of my Zencraft trifold. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, probably be posting a few more videos of this guy, my field note size, and how to make. Um, how to make this uh, billfold folder insert, which has been highly requested. So I guess stay tuned for that on my channel. Thanks guys.